Hi Gemini, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your January uh, 15th through 21st uh, weekly reading. This may not resonate, just take what does and leave the rest. This is the Ask Angels deck. So what I need you to do is think of a question. Think of a question that you would like to have answered. And at the end of this reading, the card will be revealed, okay? So whatever this is, this is typically a yes or no uh, question. It could be a timeline. Um, it could tell you what you need to do to get the answer to your question. So just ask the question, and at the end, we will reveal the card. There it is. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. We're going to start with a general reading, and we're going to end with a love reading. Hopefully. There they are. Ah. You have to make some kind of decision, and you really need to think twice about it. Whatever decision that you need to make, you need to think twice, okay? You really need to follow your intuition on this decision. It's like your inner guide is trying to tell you something, and you are ignoring it, all right? You act, it is decision-making time, and whatever decision you make, it's going to be a big one, and your inner guide is seriously giving you the answer. So if you know what you need to do, it's like a heart versus mind matter. Okay, so you really need to follow your gut on this one. Follow your intuition. It has the answer. Okay, there's some discontent over this decision, whatever it is. There could be, um, it could have to do with children. All right. Could have to do with somebody from your past. All right. I know this is a general reading, but I have to tell you what I see. It's like you're you are are coming out of conflict in some way. You are. You're coming out of some kind of conflict with another person. Or you're trying to. That's what it is. It's like you don't want to have this conflict anymore. Let's see. I'm gonna make sure this is zoomed in before I go any further. Yeah, you're headed in the right direction. You are. You're headed in the right direction. You are. But the thing is, is you're dealing with somebody who's very spiteful and vindictive. So it's like, oh shit, I mean, you know, you're trying to do the right thing. You're trying to uh, make this as pleasant as possible, but you're dealing with somebody who is not. Okay, so you're really, you're really having to uh, avert... Uh, conflict okay it's like you are being you're being offered a new opportunity to walk away from this okay you are you're being offered new opportunities to walk away from something that is is causes a lot of tension probably with a child okay um, or somebody from your past I'm not sure who this is you're being offered this opportunity to walk away from it and to move on but the thing is, is this person is just not making it very easy. It's like they want to fight and you're like, oh my God, please stop. You know, I feel like there's some kind, and it's causing tension within your relationship, whatever this is, whether your, your loving relationship, it's causing some tension in your life. All right. It's like you can't, you can't have a relationship with anybody else at this time because or a loving one anyway, because this person is causing so much discontent in your life. And you're being called to just be truthful, just be honest, just do the right thing for you, and it will work out in the end. And seriously, follow your intuition on this one, please. That Your intuition has the answer, whatever it is. If this is regarding a child, or regarding work, or career, or a love, or whatever it's regarding, this is the general portion of the reading. You are being called to just move forward move forward don't look back and you know it's like there's no second chances here it's like we're gonna move forward we're not looking back I can't give you another second chance I have to follow my inner guide 
Um, and, and, and if you really, really have to throw me under the bus or use me to get ahead, you know, there's nothing I can do about that, but I'm going to have to cut you out of my life, something like that. It's like you, it's, it's crazy energy here. It's like you're dealing with a crazy person and I don't know who this crazy person is, but I feel like you are going to have to make the decision whether to cut them out or not. interesting that and you're moving because you don't want the conflicts anymore I don't want the conflicts anymore I'm looking for something more I'm looking for something else and you are affecting my whole life with your craziness okay you're dealing with somebody who is very lonely and bitter and they just want to take you down with them okay so your intuition is telling you that you need to you need to not give this person another chance, that you need to walk away from the drama, and that's your answer. Walk away from the drama, whatever it is. Now we're gonna move on to the love portion. Takes confidence and courage for you to act on your hunches, to follow your intuition, okay? So do it. Do it. Follow your intuition on this, even if it hurts. Because there's a karmic lesson here with that judgment card in the middle. It's like you have to learn this lesson. And it comes from uh, using your courage and your confidence and your strength. Okay? You have to learn this lesson. You do. And you, ha you do it by being honest. All right? Well, this is the love portion. But, whoo! Wow, you have some heavy, heavy energy. There's a toxic situation. You are involved in a toxic situation. And I, you know, and this is a playoff to the, or whatever you want to call it, to the last readings I did for you guys. It's still going on. I think many of you are dealing with some child or somebody who acts like a child, okay? Um, and it feels like you're, you've reached the end. It's time. I need to heal from this situation. It's time for me to, to back off. I need to take a retreat at this point. Um, I, I can't be involved in this anymore. I cannot be involved in this drama. I cannot. Okay. Somebody, there's, a, there's an element of betrayal here. And somebody is being very sneaky. All right. And you know that they are. And you know the truth. Your inner guide is telling you the truth. All right. And you're about to free yourself. It's like, I can't be involved in this toxic situation any longer. I have lost enough sleep. I've had enough depression. You've caused me enough anxiety. And I can't deal with your lies anymore. Now, this is the love portion. I do not see any love here. It feels like somebody is being very cold hearted towards you. They may be only looking to you for some kind of financial support, you know, and that's about it. All right. It feels like you've come to the conclusion that this this uh, forward path with this person is dead. OK, there's no there's no forward movement with this person that you're dealing with. But, but you're moving forward, if you know what I mean, you're moving forward without them. All right. Um, you're, you've decided that, you know, I'm, I'm ready to just quit. I'm ready. I'm ready to quit uh, all this drama in my life. I cannot have it in my life any longer. All right. You're removing, you're, you're accepting the truth that this is a toxic situation. Okay. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini, which is you. You could be dealing with, and that, I think that Gemini up there, that lover's card reverse, is you having to make this difficult decision to move forward without somebody. It's a very difficult situ uh, situation. And I think that you're prepared or you are preparing yourself to live with the consequences of your choice. And your intuition is telling you what you need to do, but damn, it's a hard decision, isn't it? It is so hard. It's hard. And you just, you're at the point where you can't take it another minute. I cannot take this another minute. You're killing me inside. You're freeing yourself, ultimately. It's like, I am freeing myself from these toxic ties that I have to you. I, I have to just cut you right out of my life at this time because I do not need this drama. A 
I'm sorry that that isn't the best, but I have to tell you what I see. We are going to get some romance, hopefully. We're going to find out what comes up with these romance cards for Gemini. I see personal freedom here, okay? There's personal freedom. Somebody is, is has decided that they are uh, freeing themselves from a uh, crazy person, per se. You're being called to extend your lighthearted energy to others, and you haven't been able to do that because this person has caused you so much stress. They have caused you so much uh, anguish and depression that you've come to the point where I can't. I am ready. I'm ready to be free. I'm ready to. Sh I'm ready to shine again. You know, I'm ready to be happy again. So I think that's where you're at. It's like I am ready to open myself up in other avenues and be happy again. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic about your love life. This card often tells me that, you know, there's something else. There's something else. If you're single, whatever this whatever this person is, whoever this toxic person is, stay optimistic. There is somebody else. Okay, there is somebody else. If you are in a relationship and you're, you know, you're having problems because of children perhaps or because of whatever this card says to stay optimistic stay optimistic you are relieved you're you are letting go of some kind of drama your relationship should get better if you think positive Ooh, the thinking man okay so this is a teacher somebody has come into your life to teach you something and perhaps or you're somebody's teacher Okay, this is somebody who is understanding that this has all happened for a reason. You've been analyzing this situation to a point where you're trying to come up with the reasons why this is happening. There is a reason. And perhaps, again, I'm thinking about my last reading I did for you guys. Tough love. Tough love. There's tough love here. And this can also mean that a new man is coming into your life, okay, if you are single. Or it could be, this could be your husband, this could be your partner who, who is trying to help in a situation. You know, they're trying to help you come up with the best solution. If you're single, though, this could certainly mean that there is a new man coming into your life who will help you along your journey, will help you. But you have to stay optimistic, Okay, because it feels like many of you are, have gotten to a point where there's so much drama that you're feeling quite down and you're ready to bring that lighthearted energy back so you have to cut somebody out of your life to do that. So let's get back to your question now. I'm sorry this didn't turn out the way that you had hoped, but, you know, sometimes you have to cut somebody else somebody cut somebody out so somebody new can come in okay and sometimes you have to realize that people don't always stay in your life forever okay there's a reason for everything there is they many people come into your life just to teach you something and then they leave and vice versa you know you come in to teach them something and then you leave it's just the way it is okay but I'm here to tell you to stay optimistic, be open, cut out whoever is causing you all this drama. Let your lighthearted energy come back and something new will come about. Okay, it will, it will. But you have to be positive. If you're negative, then it won't. Positive attracts positive. Negative attracts negative. That's why it's so important to cut this drama out of your life. Once you cut it out, that's when the romance will come back. Okay? Um, let's go back to your question now. You ready? Oh, recovery. Yes, it is. This is the answer. This is what you need to do. 
This is perfect. It really is. It's a time of recovery. It's time of rest. Like I said, retreat earlier. It's time for you to recover from this toxic situation, and that's exactly what you're doing. Take all the time you need to heal and to raise your vibration back up. It's time. It's time to become one with yourself again. It's time for you to heal. It's time for you to let this this drama go and it hurts I know but once you do it once you let it go a, a huge relief will will come about it will almost instantly you will feel a relief and you can start your healing process as you go through your healing process stay optimistic and if you need help from somebody let somebody help you So Gemini, this is what I have for you. I wish you the best. Talk to you later.